China's southwestern Guangxi region is the country's agricultural heartland. Large farms are still few and far between, but they are a sign of the province's growing wealth. Livestock farming is on the rise, and with it, levels of the potent greenhouse gas, methane. Over the next few years, the manure from this sow and her piglets will produce an amount of methane gas equivalent to the climate-harming power of nine tons of CO2. People in Guangxi are aware of the problem, and they're at the forefront of the current revolution in renewable energy resources. Many poor farmers in Guangxi own just enough animals to make ends meet, but they may not earn enough to pay for fuel and electricity. But thanks to biogas converters, that's no longer a problem for some farmers here. Xie Oi Shu shows us the unit he acquired six months ago. The system is very easy. The manure from the animals is put through an inlet behind the stall. The human waste from this toilet too. It all flows into the biogas converter, which is a big tank buried in the ground. The manure goes in there, and as it ferments, the gas forms and comes up through this tubing. See the pipe up there? It brings the gas into the house, and we use it for cooking. Although burning the biogas also produces CO2, the unused methane would add far more to climate warming. Climate protection is not the farmer's main concern. Now his house has light and, more importantly, his wife doesn't have to spend three hours a day looking for firewood for cooking. Instead, she has received some vocational training to help her manage the family's small tea plantation. It's become more profitable and brings in additional income. Thousands of poor farmers in the province have done the same, says Thomas Ratt from the UN's International Fund for Agricultural Development. Rat heads the organization's program for China. This project started in 2001 and three years later we could see that overall the households have moved up from, from poverty to low income and even out of poverty. We, after three years we observed already that about 10% had already moved on. So about 20,000 households. Uh. The goal of the project is to combine climate protection and progress for the farmers. Thanks to government funding, there are already three million biogas converters running in Guangxi, and that number is rising. The simple biogas technology has clearly improved Xie Oishu's life, and even helped him to make a small contribution to global climate protection.